Hi, I'm John Orlando, and I'm going to show you a great way of organizing all the websites that you follow called Feedly. Feedly is a free online cloud-based software system, though like all systems, it has upgrade features you can pay for. But the idea is that if you're following a number of different sites like me, you would rather not have to check each site on a daily basis. You would rather have the new information that's posted come to you. A bit like the home page of Facebook that sends you updates by your friends. And Feedly does that. You tell it which sites you want to follow, and it will send you new content that gets posted to those sites. Now, here's the home page for my Feedly, and you can see there are a lot of different sites here. These are ones I like to follow. Now, it does look a little messy, so what you can do is organize them into categories that I've created here, and then just take a look at what's in the category. Here's EdTech. Here's what I call New Thinking, where I follow MindShift. I also have one called Own Teaching, which is the sites that I've built myself, the blogs, wikis, and stuff like that. Now, there's two ways to add a site to Feedly. First, you can search it in the Feedly system itself. So let's come up to search, and you can go through these categories and simply snoop through these categories. I think as a teacher, you might not find them that helpful. I tend to just have specific sites that I want to add. So what I can do is go up here and let's go with Ted Ed. Now notice down here it says you can search within your Feedly. So that's if you want to find an article that's appeared in one of your feeds, you don't quite remember where it is. But if you're looking for a new source, you would come down lower where it says find new sources. Click Ted Ed websites. And notice here it is, Ted Education. So all I have to do is click follow. Note, when I click follow, it gives me those categories that I created before. So I'm going to decide it's in maybe new thinking. I'm going to click add, and now when new things appear, it's going to join my feed. Now another way to add a feed is to find it first and then add it to the system later. That is, let's say I'm looking around and I happen to wander across an interesting website. Instead of coming back to this website to add it, I can add it directly from that website. To do that, I need to add a button or an extension to my browser. I'm going to go to my face here, click it, and you notice you get browser add-ons. I'll click that. So, follow RSS add-on. Now I have Chrome, but it says it works on Safari and Firefox. So I'm going to add that, add extension. It appears up here. Now let's imagine I'm on a website that I want to follow at search. I come up, I click this button, and now again I can pick the category I want to fall under. Let's say Add Tech. I click Add, and it's added. There you go. So it's a very nice way of organizing all the various websites that you follow and gathering all the content in one place. Give it a try. Thanks.